This method can help answer key questions in the soil, rhizosphere, and root endosphere microbiome field, such as how microbial community diversity changes in response to sample type, treatment, and plant genotype. The main advantage of this technique is that it is well suited for field experiments that require large sample numbers and replication. Demonstrating the procedure will be myself and Stephanie Futrell, a grad student and research technician from my laboratory. To begin the protocol, label a wash pan and bucket with a sticky note with plant sample details. Carry the labeled bucket to the plot and leave the wash pan at the established workstation in the field. Randomly choose and collect two plants per plot from different areas within the plot. Next, pierce the soil with a shovel to a depth of 30 centimeters to cut any of the lateral roots holding the plant in the soil. Excavate the plant roots by leveraging the shovel and place the root ball in the labeled bucket. Bring the bucket back to the workstation in the field. Shake the roots and use a spade or handheld tiller to remove soil from the roots. Wear gloves and place the roots near the processing station. After shaking the roots, mix the soil in the wash pan and break up any soil clods with a handheld tiller. Place a sample of soil that is free of debris into a labeled 17.7 by 19.5 cm zipper storage bag and place it on ice. Sterilize pruning scissors in 70% ethanol. Use the sterile scissors to excise a variety of roots, approximately four to six roots per plant, and